Hi, thanks for joining me today. So I thought while my cutting board was drying between coats, I'd go over some clear coats, what I find that really works and what doesn't work, um, especially what reacts to what kind of paint that you're using. Um, so to start off, I've used the Thompson's Water Seal, and this I'll use on the laser engraved signs, um, especially the ones that are going outdoors. For example, the uh, big welcome signs that you'll see on individuals' porches. Um, I've laser engraved custom ones, and I really like using this water sealer. I will put it on, let it soak in, put on another coat, let it soak in, wipe off any excess, and it's good to go. So it's great for decks and fences, outdoor furniture, exterior wood. It prevents water damages, beads and waterproofs, and helps maintain the wood's natural color. So wood is beautiful and uh, maintaining its natural color is so important, especially when you're laser engraving. It, it just gives you a beautiful finish. Of course, it's oil-based, so any brushes that you're using, you're gonna have to clean with thinner or throw them out after you use them. Um, the next one that I like to use is the Helmsman, the Minwax. Spar urethane, clear satin. Now, you can get a variety of matte finishes, clear satin, gloss, semi-gloss. Um, I like using the mattes and the clear satin for my finishes. It's just my personal preference. Um, now, this stuff you can use right over the acrylic craft paint, but I don't suggest using it if you are using white because it will yellow it. This gives a nice honey rich brown um, uh, finish. It stinks. So I do any of my oil-based painting, I do outside on my front deck um, to let it dry out there because I just, I can't stand the fumes anymore. They make me sick. So I try to use a lot of water-based products. Um, so you have to remember, if you're gonna use this over any acrylic craft paint that you've done, um, it will change the hue of the color. So I've used like a follow blue before, and then when I've used this on top of it, it kind of turns it uh, a turquoise color. But I really like that effect. I love this stuff for the honey rich brown color, and I will use that on any of my laser engraved signs that uh, even if they don't have paint, gives a beautiful finish. Now, if I've painted something with the acrylic craft paint, I can't use the polycrylic right over it. Uh, what happens is it reactivates the paint. It's a very thin clear. So when I try to brush over the clear, I will literally smear anything that I've painted. So I will not use that directly over craft paint. Um, and it's water-based. It's really nice to use. Um, at some point when I'm doing a sign, I will show you how I use that. Um, so if I haven't let a sign dry for 24 hours because I'm in a rush to do it, I will use a number of clear coats just to give it a quick seal. So I've used the acrylic enamel. It doesn't react to the craft paint. It's a great bargain price. So I'll give it that because it's a high gloss. It's a quick drying. I'll give it a quick spray and let that dry before I use any of my clears. Or I've used the Rust-Oleum, the matte clear, the satin clear, the gloss clear. This stuff is costly too, but I will give it a quick spray. I don't finish any of my signs completely with the spray cans because you will literally use a whole can trying to get a nice finish on your signs. And, you know, this, this gets expensive. So I will do that over the acrylic paint and then I use, you will use my polycrylic if I'm in a rush to do something. Now something else I've discovered is with the Varathanes, and these are the diamond wood finished, water-based, there's an outdoor semi-gloss, I've got also an interior gloss, trying to get those in there. I have not had to use any spray coats to coat my acrylic paint at all. I can go, as long as I'm waiting 24 hours for the acrylic paint to dry, I can go right over these and they don't react with the acrylic paint and it goes over beautifully. Now it's very thin as well and you wanna go nice and slow when you are brushing on your clears because if you go too fast, it seems to foam up and uh, then you have air bubbles in your clear coat when it's all dry. 
and it doesn't look as nice. Now something I don't recommend that I tried was the polyurethane just on uh, laser engraved signs that were going outdoor. If your signs have any knots in them or just any imperfections, it just doesn't want to dry properly and it leaves it gummy feeling. So I've, you know, tried the whole can on a bunch of garden directional signs that I was using and I've ended up having to go back over that with the outdoor water-based crystal clear non-yellowing finish because that polyurethane just wouldn't dry properly. So if you are doing outdoor signs, I do recommend that you use the one-shot sign enamel. Those, that paint is going to last you a long time and it comes with a clear as well that I've sprayed on. So any outdoor signs that you're selling that you need to last for a long time, I do recommend the one-shot paints. I have done a big wood routed sign for myself that I'm testing outdoors and I'll try to pop in a picture here that I finished with the acrylic craft paint and then covered it with the Helmsman Spar Urethane because I want to see exactly how long the colors will last. So I'll keep you posted on that and I hope this helps and uh, inspires you. Have a great day everybody.